My name is Mark Schuster, and I'm the founder and CEO of Coral. And with me is Tim Barker, co-founder and VP of products. We've worked in the enterprise content management space each more than 10 years. Coral is our third startup venture launched in this space. In the last 12 months, we've seen a massive increase in the number of Web 2.0 companies that are targeting consumers and helping consumers better share content, whether it's pictures, video, or blogs. But what about businesses? How do businesses better manage their content? I'm sure we've all experienced the chaos involved as I send files out to VC firms, lawyers, PR companies, let alone our own sales force. And as I send these files an email, it's fine until one of the files needs to be updated. Or what about the frustration of spending hours looking for that one killer document that I know is out there somewhere? Enterprise content management is a $3 billion industry and yet only 5% of business users use any solution at all. And that's where Coral can help. Coral is a smarter and easier to use system designed for the business web. And best of all, it's totally free for basic usage. So let's show you how it works. On Coral, you start simply by dragging a file and dropping it off on a Dropbox on your desktop. The file's automatically uploaded and indexed. We take the index and we can use it to suggest tags for you so you can categorize the, the content directly on your desktop. If I had to search three level deep into a folder structure, I probably wouldn't bother to contribute. I'd just send it by email. So that's it. It's done. It's published. And now it's fully searchable by anybody in my work group. But let's go ahead and log in and show you how the system uh, operates. When you first arrive, you'll see a bunch of desktop widgets. Now this is giving me the documents directly at my fingertips, the documents I use most often, and of course this is customizable. But if I want to search for new content, I'll go ahead and let's, let's click on a tag, for example, and let's click on, click on the tag for high tech. Instantly it'll kick off a search and that'll bring back 17 different res results of documents that are related to the high tech sector. Once I have these documents, you know, I'm not going to want to download 17 documents to see which one I'm interested in especially if I'm at a hotel room and it's 10 o'clock at night. Coral's smarter. With Coral, you can actually preview your files online before you decide if you want to download them. We generate snapshots of all the documents in our system that you can scroll through and see before you bring them down. So let's say that I found a couple presentations that I'm interested in. I can go ahead and I can subscribe to those by clicking a single button. Once I've done a subscription, then the content will come to me anytime it changes via RSS feed or via email. Let's go ahead and do another search. This time let's use the full text index. Let's type in uh, case study, Tim. So once that's typed in, I get back my result set, this time 50 documents. Uh, well, let's say though that I found a, a presenter, let's say Ryan Lissack up at the top, and Ryan produces a lot of interesting information. Let's see what else he has out there. By clicking on his name, I get the entire result set of any documents Ryan's produced that I have access to across all my workspace. Let's go ahead and subscribe to Ryan. The nice thing about subscribing to Ryan is now anytime Ryan produces content, I'm alerted. See, the more you use Coral, the more it understands your preferences, the more content finds you rather than you having to search the system. So let's go ahead and drill down into one of these documents. Doing a drill down gives me a lot of the community aspects of the document. I can go ahead and see comments that are written by other people. I can look at the ratings. What this does is it provides valuable insight into the author. The author can find out who's downloaded it, who's um, subscribed to it, who's read it, who hasn't read it. And in this way, imagine you're in product marketing, you can provide more high quality content to your sales force. Okay, so let's say I've got all this documents and I've got it all into my central repository. You know, what good is that though if I can't get everybody to log in and look and see when content's changed. Wouldn't it be great if your system actually knew when your documents were outdated, even if you didn't log in and even if you didn't subscribe? Let's say you're a PR company and you're handling the demo press release. Uh, in this example, you bring up a document. If you look at the bottom right hand corner, it actually alerted you that there's a new version that's been produced by your client on our server. A single click of a button can either download it, or in this case, let's go ahead and compare version and show you what's changed. And this user never logged into the system. So what good would a Web 2.0 application be if I couldn't demonstrate mashups? 
One of the most compelling companies in the business space is Salesforce.com. Let's say that I'm working on a sale into Intel, and I want to get documents that will help me in my campaign. I click on Intel as my opportunity, and from here, in a single click, I can get back all the related documents using context-sensitive information from Salesforce, such as competitors and such as uh, what products are out there. I can then use all the basic features that Coral has, like previews and hovers and so on and so forth. Coral is an enterprise 2.0 company designed to help you better manage content. It solves the three basic problems that no other enterprise content company has solved. Number one, it makes it hassle-free to upload documents. Two, you can quickly, easily find information based on relevancy and popularity. And three, when users aren't connected, you can still collaborate with them. Please stop by Booth 51 and see us later. Thank you.